Hi there. Welcome to Alcon Recon. I think you know that in the West Indies, Sri Lanka and the West Indies in their cricket tournaments, they've been battling it out over the past three to four weeks in different formats of the game. At last, the two test matches. They were very exciting. Everyone was expecting that both these teams will do well. Sri Lanka came in with a very young team. Some of their former players um, did not make the trip. But it was amazing how the youngsters did very well. It turned out to both matches drew. I want to make an assessment on the West Indies team because of the fact that they have varied so much in their success one way or the other. The teams that were selected as the ones that I'm interested in and then we could talk a little bit about those that were not interested selected. Craig Braffitt was the captain. Of course, he replaced uh, Jason Holder, who was the previous captain, to many surprise, simply because of the fact that the teams were doing reasonably well. At the same time, Jason Holder was picking up experience over a period of time, and he's ranked number one all around in the world. This gives us the feeling that there is everything all around ish in his behavior on and off the cricket field. However, the, selected, the selectors thought otherwise. Greg Braffitt came in, and uh, he does not have a history of uh, leading teams, international teams, but he's been around for a long time, opening the batting for the West Indies on a number of occasions. In some cases, he was successful. Other cases, he had many faults that put him into trouble. However, in the first test match, he did not do well. And uh, this opened a door for a lot of the chat that had been happening before. But they were persistent and they allowed him to do it. And by heavens, he played very well. He scored 120 yard, he got 80 yard. And as far as his leading of the team was concerned, it's difficult to judge, if only because of the fact that the wicket was flat and easy and the, the going was tough at all times. He used the bowlers that he had. And this was of great importance. Kevin Roach, uh, Kema Roach, certainly did a wonderful job for him. So did Alzari Joseph. And you got some a long time uh, off spin bowling from Cornwall, who was, uh, was there to go 30 for the overs, even despite the fact that he uh, appears a little bit overweight, but he's done reasonably well with the bat and maybe not as well with the ball. So we were looking at a team that had some players who you'd have to look at a second time. Uh, for one reason or another, you can think in terms of the, the fast bowlers. And Azari Joseph is the one that catches the eye outside of Kemar Roach. Kemar Roach is a top class fast bowler, medium fast, gets the ball to move from through the air and off the pitch as well. His line and length have been wonderful. He's taken a number of good wickets, and I'm sure that everybody was pretty well certain that he will do well. The one that you expect him, him to improve um, is Shannon Gabriel. Not very good. Very quick. He's a very big man. He comes trottling down the track, and uh, sometimes in his deliveries, it's way out wide. Others, it's full tosses, and the, the inconsistencies of his bowling showed itself in his results. He bowls pretty fast, he's the fastest bowler in the team. But what is the point of having the, the speed and not the length and the line and the direction and that sort of, he had the wicket keeper, the silver throwing himself here, there and everywhere. And it was unfortunate. Now is the time somebody's got to take a hold of him and sort of break his concentration down to good line and length in preference to all the maximum speed that he's got. Jason Holder was uh, a little bit better than him. Maybe sometimes he too was uh, going over the line in no balls and some wide ones. The, li the line and length was only in the good graces of Alzari Joseph and Kemar Roach. These are things that the West Indies will have to look at in the future. There's no doubt in my mind that they've got to have to look at others before they make the choices again. We had some um, 
Kumar and Bonner, Kumar Bonner, a young player who everyone thought had the potential. Boy, did he show that he had the potential. His concentration was very good. He went to the wicket and he played himself in. He didn't play as many shots as his partner in the number four position, who was Kyle Mears. A left-hander who's a wonderful stroke player. He plays more or less in front of him, which is the safe thing on a wicket that's playing very orthodox. So he played a lot of shots through mid-off and mid-on. And when it's outside the off stump and short, he will hit it square with the wicket. He got a lot of runs. He did extremely well. He's now set not only as a batsman at number four, but they put him to bowl in the medium pace area. He did well in that as well. He's getting the ball to move off the seam and he got a few wickets. This means that this guy has been held. He could be held now uh, as a certainty for the West Indies, and probably in that uh, tournament coming up against England. I'm sure in my own mind that Bonner would do it as well because he played exceptionally well. He got the runs, he took his singles, he, he did the judgment bit every bit, and I was comfortable with him. John Campbell, I thought there was too much, too many vulnerables in his batting. He's a left-hander, and he plays on the first line of the ball. So how many times will that ball come straight? They're just moving off the seam, and eventually he's losing his wicket. Maybe sometimes he would get about 20 or 30 but not too many times and I think they'll have to be either correcting him or getting a replacement for him. Of course, there, there's Ivan Lewis out there, there's um, Simmons out there, um, there's Puran out there, and there's Hetmeyer out there. So they've got to be looking. And you go down the road and we talked about Raheem Cornwall. We just said that he was, uh, he was an off spinner. He's, he's a good fielder in catch as well, in slip as well. But when he has to chase the ball, he's got a bit of a problem, overweight and everything else. But his out cricket was quite good. Our wicketkeeper Joshua De Silva was very good. He was not only very good in terms of uh, stopping the ball, he took some good catches. And as a batsman, he played intelligently. He failed on one occasion and he had the tendency not to go further than 40 or 45 get out somewhere i suspect as a fitness program because he's a big guy he's a wicket keeper he's got to throw himself here there and everywhere while he did that part of it well i think that he's got to get himself fitter in order to play cricket at this level we go we talked about Sh Sh uh, shannon gabriel jason holder uh, Zari Joseph, would you believe a wonderful batsman? I was shocked, although I've seen or heard him that he played some innings before and looked good. Well, these times he looked very good. Upright, tall, six foot, plays the cover drive as excellent as you'd want straight drive on the one side, and he is an intelligent batsman as well. So we'd have to look at him as an all rounder because he was successful as a fast bowler and did he bowl fast yes he did so what do we have out of this team one of the things that we did not have was a wrist spinner you must have a wrist spinner particularly in the caribbean where the ball tends at time to fall into the rough spots and and it would go from um, 30 degrees to 45 degrees turning and it could create the best batsman in the world if he doesn't watch it all the time We've seen that proof from, from Cornwall. It was his off spinners were jumping and turning and other times it was just flying through and that sort of stuff. I thought that Walsh Jr. might have been a good prospect and I hope that he is because he's a wonderful fielder. He was brought on the field for an injured player and boy did he look as though he was ready to stop anything and this he did. Took some good catches as well. So the West Indies team in truth and fact was still inconsistent too many players into scoring 30 40 20 30 40 and then one might come up with 100 or 80 odd but this is not good for test cricket you've got to score runs you've got to make 385 400 in that sort of category so if you look at it at this point of view they were potentially good but they need to be much better especially because the west indies and Gosh, what I...